How you guys doing? I'm Jay from Wild Packets. Um, you might know us as OmniPeak or Everpeak or Etherpeak or any one of those things. Um, that's probably less for, uh, on that. I'm gonna hijack this for one second because a lot of people have come and asked me about installing OmniPeak. Um, there's, a, there's a document on the little 32 gig drive. Uh, there's a PDF doc, it's got a link in it. But the problem is when you click on the link, the link the wraps and it seems like the wrap actually has a carriage return in it so it doesn't pick up the whole link when you click um, and it brings you to the 10 day eval that's bad i don't want any of you to do the 10 day eval it's a 365 day eval copy and paste the link into a browser make sure you have the whole link you'll be good to go so that's issue number one uh, issue number two many of you in the room have already had evals um, didn't really think that through before we did this so my apologies for that um, a few people have already approached me. If anyone's having problems, if you've already had an eval and the 365 day one won't work for you, my email address is up there. It's in yellow, it's a little hard to see, but it's just my name at Wild Packets. Pretty easy to remember. Email me and I can get that cleared for you as well. So you'll get the 365 day. Um, I'm trying to get it cleared across the board, but that wasn't something that I could do on my own. So I'm getting that worked out. And the third issue is with the driver. There's a little Linksys uh, device in there. Um, it's this guy right here. Um, it's an 11AC device. You can use it for packet capture. Um, the driver installation for it is not the smoothest thing on the planet. It's a bit of a Windows thing. I'm gonna go through that in the morning when I go through the OmniPeak thing. But again, if anybody's had an issue with it, just come see me, we can fix it. So that's it. The hint on that is think Windows 95. <laughs> that is exactly right. <laughs> right, go old school and it'll work for you. But uh, if not, I can show you what, what we mean by that, um, either in person or in the morning. So the topic of the 10 talk, um, it wasn't just that we're at gigabit speeds, we know that. It, it's just an observation that I have about it in terms of packet capture. And this morning, um, Brian Tuttle from, from Metageek had mentioned it kind of quickly, but I want to get into it just a little bit more. And it's an issue with um, how we're going to capture as we get further into AC, right, and further into these higher data rates. Th things are changing a little bit. And by the way, the picture is just my, my favorite place on Earth in, in Yosemite. So this is what we got today, right? This is a picture of my, my laptop on my desk. You know, we probably had some, a few similar laptops in the back of the room where people had their antennas all attached to the back. I'm usually more doing demos than I am doing, um, you know, out doing site surveys, so mine just lay on the desk. But it's, it's a gaggle of devices in the back, right? Several USB devices, some attached to a hub, some attached to my docking station, some attached to my laptop. But th the bottom line is we capture on USB devices today to do packet capture. Um, and whether that's OmniPeak or Wireshark or um, IPA, it doesn't matter what it is, that's how we do it. And you worked great when it was A and B and G because an access point and a client device had essentially the same capabilities. One stream, you know, the same, the same modulation techniques, everything there, right? So it wasn't a problem. We got to N, okay, a little bit more of a problem. Right now we have one stream, two stream, three stream, maybe never four stream, but at least three stream devices, right, in N, and you needed to think a little bit more about what device you're using if you're gonna go in and really try to troubleshoot an 11 N situation, right? If, it, if there could possibly be three stream traffic there and you had a two stream device, you just don't see it. Um, so when you mentioned that yesterday, you don't see what you don't see, and that's, and that's certainly a problem if you're trying to troubleshoot something. And it's only getting worse, right, with AC. Um, so, there we go. The problem is we go to AC, and it's not, just, it's not just AC itself, right? A lot of times it's, you know, I may not be near the problem. You know, a lot of what we've talked about in the last day and a half, right, is some pretty big deployments, right? Yeah, not very easy necessarily to walk around these deployments anymore. I might not necessarily be near there, right? Um, you know, you need supported devices, and now with AC, how are you gonna do that, right? The most capable USB devices out there right now for AC are two stream. And unfortunately, they're only based on a couple of chipsets, and those are chipsets that don't have drivers that we can support with OmniPeak today. Uh, we're always trying to work on that with vendors, but we, we can't do it alone. So, um, and that's kind of true for all, all the vendors and all the solutions as well. Um, and there may never be anything greater than a two stream USB wireless LAN device. Um, anyway, there's power issues, there's things with 3.0, and, and really, in the end, 
who needs these anymore, right? Wi-Fi is built into everything. The original reason for wireless LAN USB devices was to give connectivity to devices that may not have 802.11 built in. Well, that's, that's a non-starter, right? And that's why Atheros, how many years ago, dropped USB support in the driver. Uh, and that's why you see less and less of those adapters today. So we're going to a phase where what we used to depend on to capture packets is, is really kind of going by the wayside, right? So, and then there's just the, the issues with USB in general, right? So USB has some, some speed issues. Um, you know, this laptop, not that old, but still, it's only USB 2.0. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to saturate my USB well before uh, I saturate my network analyzer or anything else, right? So there's just issues. So what are, what are, we, what are we proposing? And I've talked about this a little bit in some other venues, on some, some presentations we've done, some webinars, um, you know, blogged about it a little bit, um, Twittered about it. It's not the most popular, so it's not po a popular idea with everybody. You'll see if you look on Twitter, you know, people n don't necessarily care for the proposal of trying to use access points to do the packet capture nowadays. And I am open to any suggestions people have for other ways to go and do this. Um, but as we go, especially to four stream, you know, 802.11ac deployments from the access point standpoint, if you're gonna go in and troubleshoot a problem and you don't know where that problem is, you know, whether it's something that is three stream or four stream, you need to have something capturing those packets that's as capable as the access points. And the best way to do that is with another access point. And the part of the reason we're bringing it up here in a 10 talk is, you know, in, in some ways, it's a business opportunity for everybody, right? Plan a little more capacity uh, into the network. Put some, more, put some extra APs out there. Uh, in some cases, the vendor's APs can still act as APs when they go into promiscuous mode. In some cases, they can't. But just plan ahead for that, depending on whatever it is you're doing. Then you've got the density out there. You can always, whatever your solution is, whether it's OmniPeak or any other solution, you know, as long as they support capturing from APs, you'll have that capability there. Point it at AP, point the AP back at the analyzer, you'll get all the packets streamed back to that analyzer. Uh, and you'll be able to see exactly the problems that are going on in the network. And there's really two forms to do it. This, somebody asked the other day about remote PCAP uh, for somebody. That's certainly one of the methods. A lot of access points uh, support remote PCAP. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the PCAP libraries, so it's usually built in there somewhere in an access point. It may not be exposed. Um, you know, I, I kind of encourage the, the AP vendors maybe to start exposing that a little more. It's gonna make it a lot easier for capturing the packets. Um, and then there's cases where we can build just custom tunnels, and, and in the case of uh, Wildpack, as we call them, custom remote adapters, but that can be done for anybody as well. It's just a tunnel uh, to, set, to tunnel the packets back to, to, the, uh, to the network analyzer. Um, there's a little bit of translation that's done because not everybody streams uh, packets back in exactly the same format. There's no standard there. So we kind of tweak that with the, uh, with the uh, custom remote adapter. But the APs give you a solution for getting those packets back to the analyzer. Um, it'll be the, it's the most capable way to do it. Um, you can bring back packets from multiple access points. That works out well. Um, you could also, if you're worried about bringing all that data back over a network, you know, put the analyzer running somewhere 24 by 7 out near where the, the wireless LAN controller is, then you won't be sending that back over the network. Everything can get captured locally, um, and, uh, and that, that would be the solution. So, um, interested in other ideas as well, you know, besides the USBs, but I, I don't think USBs are going to be a solution going forward. Well, I mean, I, I like the idea of the outboard. Yeah, so we have, again, right, so far, um, we're working on the, because we, we do have an, we have, we have access to the Athros driver, so we're working on PCIe support for Athros base cards. Problem is, you know, and I'm, I think this is across most of the vendors, but it's certainly a problem with us. We can't support Broadcom because Broadcom doesn't have a Windows driver that's available, you know, which is what we would need to run on the laptop to run with our stuff. Um, and. Uh, there's a third party that does a port of the, uh, the driver to Windows. 
Um, and uh, it's basically like a Beltway Bandit. I'll just be honest with you. It was, it was kind of crazy what they wanted to charge just to get access to this Windows driver. Um, it's not worth it to us. So that, that's the problem there. Um, but we will support the PCIs as they come across. But the other problem with that is multi-channel. So that's the other reason what was attractive about USBs, right? So that picture on my desk, I was able to have four, five, six, as many as I wanted as long as I had enough power to capture on different channels. With a built-in PCI, I get a channel. That may not be enough nowadays with roaming issues and everything else. Right, but if, if, you've, if, but if there was enough other density built in there, take an AP that's in the area where it is, and, and I, 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 know, I, I know it's not popular, but you get, I, I, what are the other alternatives, right? Thunderbolt is that too. Thunderbolt, we have to carry an AP and controller and our laptop. No, if, 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 the, if the density is built in, right, you just, you just point at that access point and say, capture packets for me. You don't even have to leave your desk. Right, but what they're saying is a perspective problem. Yeah. Right, with, with RF, you know, interference capture, packet, packet capture, where you're at makes a whole bunch of difference on what you see. I understand that. I absolutely understand that. Take, so there's an access point that's near there. Where would you go? I mean, you're, you're going to be within a few hundred feet. There's an access point within a few hundred feet. I, I, again, I'm open to suggestions, but so, so the, the only other alternative today is take your laptop with a two-stream USB and hope you're going to see the packets. Hope they're not three-stream or four-stream. That is the only other alternative right now. I knew, I knew it would get fun. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? <laughs>